What's going on guys? Welcome to Fearless Friday. Today I want to talk to you guys a little bit about authenticity. Now, authenticity is crucial when it comes to upping your quality of women. We get guys who come in all the time and they're like, I date girls, but I'm not dating the quality of girls that I want. And we know what that is right off the bat. It's just like, we know it, there's, you need to level up. You haven't leveled up as a person yet because the minute that you level up as a person, you attract like energy, right? And it's true. I can think about when I came in the door, how, yeah, I was dating a little bit before Fearless. I had a, I had a few dates, I had a few girls, but none of them were the quality that I don't want it, right? And that's what drew me to watching these videos from Brian. And i would noticed that in doing the work, the more model work I did, the more workshops I took, I started changing. I didn't see it right away. I think everybody else started to see it before I started to see it. But my results also started to show it. Like I was going out with girls that I, years ago, would have thought I had no business going out with, right? I would have had a story about these girls, like, oh, some other guy is better for these girls, not me, I'm not that dude. And it's true, those thoughts were still running. And that's why I lost a lot of those girls, <laughs> even though I got them on dates and got them to come hang out. Part of my subconscious hadn't caught up yet to who I was and I was still sabotaging. So it took a bit for it to actually all come together. And when it did, it was like, oh, I am that dude. I've changed a whole lot. And I started to see it myself. So we want to talk a little bit today about authenticity and how that's the very thing that creates better quality women or bringing them into your life. Now, before we jump into that, hit like and subscribe ton of videos on the channel that are helping you guys become better men, not just better daters, but just better dudes in general, man. Just really life changing stuff, changing your relationship with people, women, your family. And I've seen all types of shifts when people come to the doors of our workshops or just show up and do work with us. It's amazing what we've seen. And a lot of that stuff is in these videos. So go check out the video catalog that we have. There's something in there for everybody. I guarantee you, right guys? A video that's really been speaking to me more recently is Brian's video. Uh, I think it's titled something like, uh, Create a Tribe to Create Success. And that video was really speaking to me. I watched that video this morning and I was just like, man, he's so right about that. It really ties into what we're talking about here, about being authentic and putting yourself around people, like-minded people, quality people that you actually want to know, want to be around, want to date. We're gonna go and talk about that right now, how to become more authentic within yourself so that you actually start to attract the women that you want in your lives. Now, when I came through the door at Fearless, I didn't realize this, that this work wasn't really about getting better with women. Actually, it was, but it was like a side effect of getting better with yourself as a person first. And that was a trip because they don't tell you that. And as you're doing the work, you're probably just thinking that, <laughs> when, am I gonna, when, when am I gonna start getting better girls? When am I gonna start getting better girls? And it took a bit. I didn't realize I was changing, but I did start to notice the results on the outside were changing because I felt like the same Anthony. I didn't feel like a different person. I feel like an attractive dude. Yet I was attracting all these girls that years before I would have been like, there's no way this chick would have been attracted to me years before. She would have gave me the cold shoulder easily. So what are some ways that you guys can start to learn to become more authentic? What are some ways that you guys can start to dig a little bit deeper within yourselves to learn a little bit about who you are and change and shift those behaviors and the negative thinking that's really keeping you guys where you are and keeping you guys stuck? Now, the first thing that comes to mind for me is I would take a sheet of paper and I would write down all the things that I didn't like about myself. I would get them out on paper. I will write down the things that I notice about myself when in relation to women. When I'm in front of a woman, I do this. When I'm in front of a woman, I have a tendency to be like this versus when I'm by myself, I'm probably more confident. Or when I'm with my friends, I'm more confident. Get this stuff on paper, right? That stuff is very revealing. And again, the magic in the work is the self-awareness. Without the self-awareness, you can't change. You can't shift. You can't change what you don't know is going on. You really can't change what you don't know is going on. And that was a big part or big key in the model work. When Brian puts you in front of an attractive model, all your subconscious behaviors start to show up. Are you walling your heart off? Are you not at all feeling your turn on? Do you get a very nice guy, right? You wanna be pleasing. You want to over agree with what she's saying 
and you don't have any solidity in yourself and who you are, you don't, you don't hold your own, right? These behaviors and these tendencies are coming up for you. Get it on paper, get it all out. The awareness is essential. With the awareness, you can change it. We've got a ton of videos on it. We've got a ton of programs on thefearlessman.com. We've got workshops, if that's what you wanna do. Speed and accelerate the, the, the journey. We're here for that. But get it on paper. The more you become aware of what you're doing, you'll see how separate it is from where you actually want to be and who you want to be. Which brings me to my second part. On that same sheet of paper, write who it is that you want to be. What version of yourself do you like the most? Write that on paper, right? It's very crucial that you see the gap between where you are now and where you wanna go. The minute you start to see these things, you can actually truly start to shift them. Right? The awareness is key. Only then could you actually go out and do the work that we talk about in the videos. Going out and saying hi's, indirect openers, direct openers, compliments. Until then, until you get all that stuff on paper, a lot of that stuff's not gonna stick. Until you brought that stuff to your awareness, it's not gonna stick. The first thing I noticed when I got in front of the models were that, was that I had a lot of anxiety. I did not realize it. So what, uh, right here. <clears throat> And I'm gonna, I'm gonna have you say certain words. Okay. I don't want you to break. I want you to be solid. Say fuck. Fuck. Sit in it, sit in it, breathe, breathe. Feel that, how you want to pop. Mm -hmm. Say fuck you. Fuck you. I'm more aware. <laughs> it's the sweetest fuck you ever. <laughs> you can still say it sweet, but solidly say it. Yeah. I want to hear it yeah. loudly. Loudly? <clears throat> Fuck you. <laughs> Broke. Don't break. You, you're the grounding force here, buddy. I had a smile or a laugh at the end of everything I said because I was not comfortable. I didn't realize how uncomfortable I was in front of women, right? So what Brian got us to do was to surrender, relax, relax into your body, stop walling off, get your hands out your pockets, stop feeling it around with your hands. Feel all that stuff that you don't want to feel. That's when you become more at terms with what you're feeling. And then you start judging, you stop judging who you're being, you start judging everything. You start to just relax and be in the moment. The more calm and relaxed you are, the more calm, relaxed, and more attractive women start to come into your lives. The more you actually get to say what you want when you're doing your approaches. You're not looking for things to say because you're, more, you're much more authentic, right? And that's what this video is about. How authentic can you be? How true to yourself can you be? When you start to become more authentic and more true to yourself through learning about yourself and self-discovery and self-awareness, women tend to gravitate towards you. You really don't have to do a whole lot. If you just happen to talk to a chick, she's gonna feel you. She's gonna feel how different you are. She's gonna feel that you're a dude who's solid. You don't need to actually go out and approach. I go out and approach because it's fun, <laughs> right? For the most part. But even when I'm just talking to women in general, a cashier at a Starbucks, I just happen to run into her. I'm noticing they're always flirting with me. Always, always eye contact. Always trying to get me to look at them head on. And I'm like, I got a girlfriend, I can't, <laughs> I can't be doing that. But again, this comes with being more relaxed in your body. This comes with being more authentic in yourself. This comes with you not fidgeting around, trying to get out of the tension. All of it's one and the same. It comes back to you being relaxed about who you are. Because if you have stories about yourself, you to act out those stories in a weird way and it's going to put you in a situation where you're attracting the same thing over or you're constantly getting rejected. Now, I know it may not seem like much. You're like, okay, well, you told me to write this stuff down on paper. How is this supposed to help me? Look at this stuff. It's crucial. If you've got on paper that, okay, let's say you discover you don't like yourself. Let's say you, you discover that you have a lot of negative self-talk or that you don't feel like you're good enough. Then you can start to research Right? Dig up YouTube videos, fearless videos on those topics and start to do the work. Again, it's about becoming more solid in yourself and you're much more solid in yourself when you accept who you are. And then you start to change. People start to feel you differently. People start to respond to you differently. Everything changes. Every single thing changes. More opportunities come to you because people like you. People want to tell you about stuff that's coming up. People want to show you where the money's at. All right, people want to share you with the opportunities that people want to introduce you to girls. People want to go hang out with you and party with you. A lot changes when you change, okay? So get this stuff on paper and then start 
to take each little thing that you have on that page and start to work at it, start to chisel at it little by little. The quickest way to do that stuff, obviously come down and do a workshop. We got cheap workshops. That's super affordable stuff, right? If you're this man live, things like that are like 200 bucks to get in. Super, super dirty cheap. And these things will grow you a lot, especially when you, we get you guys on the stage and we get you guys doing model work. Oh my God, that stuff grows guys so much. <laughs> okay. That's why guys want to constantly come back and do more work because they see themselves shipping. Okay. Make note of these things and start to take the steps to change them. When you change them, your results will change. Until then, you will get the same thing. I guarantee you, year by year, you'll continue to get the same thing. So I hope that helps you guys. Again, go back and watch Brian's video about uh, creating a tribe to create success for yourself. That's a powerful video where he talks about putting yourself around like-minded people. People are changing, people are growing because this will, not only will it accelerate your growth, it'll get you around people that you actually like and want to be around. It's such an awesome feeling to be around people that you want to be around. You'll grow tremendously fast, okay guys? So anyways, guys, love shooting these videos for you. We'll chat with you guys soon. And remember, only the confident really live. Peace.